it's too early. You turn it off. I'm trying, babes. It's so loud. I know. Mm. I just sleep, chocolate then. Oh, I don't want to get up. Well, are you looking forward to Fashion Week? I am. Are you? I am not. I'd rather stay home. Well, you can stay home, but you guys can't. You're coming with me. Ugh. Okay, well. I'm gonna hop out of bed, show you guys what's good with my skincare routine. Oh, by the way, I wanted to introduce you to my silk pillow. I'm good for your hair and your skin. So I like traveling with her. She's not really important. I just thought you should know. And I drink water first thing in the morning because you don't wanna be thirsty out here in these New York City streets, man. I mean, I drink a lot more than that. For demonstrational purposes, I'm gonna keep it cute. And a lot of the brands that I work with are on the East Coast. So what'll happen is I'll wake up to like an influx of like emails that are carried over from the night before. I try to make it a point to stay off of social media completely. It's actually something I try not to do. It's it's something I've become really good at. I stay off of social here. Speaking of text messages, <laughs> one thing I was starting to do was like wake up and like run to Instagram or Twitter. Then you cloud your mind with all the stuff and I can save that for the, the latter half of my day. So now, let's do some skincare. Oh wait, let me text back my manager for she cursed me out. This is really the first part of the day I get to really do to myself. And keep it cute, keep it cute. Now, the first thing I do is I wash my face. I am using the Olay Daily Wipes. I use it a lot when I travel. And I really like these specifically when I'm traveling because if I'm gone for three days, I can just pack three wipes. You know, I don't have to worry about something spilling all over my crap. So these are really handy. Shout out to you, Olay. No matter how much I travel or where I go, it's super important to never sleep in your makeup. After I wash my face, I like to tone. I'm using a spray toner. I just literally, whoever makes travel size stuff, like you really do have my heart. Ain't nobody got time to be carrying around some Costco bulk level stuff. I love hyaluronic acid. This is one, oh my God, ignore my bootleg nail, please excuse. This is one that my esthetician makes. It is a copper complex peptide. Hyaluronic acid really helps with like the balance and moisture in your skin. It's so humid here and I feel like the hyaluronic acid kind of really helps draw in moisture. Don't forget that neck. Get that neck, honey. After that, I do my eye cream. This is also from Olay, the Deep Hydrating Eye Gel. So just dot that on under eye. Ferulic, I don't know who Ferulic is, but you know what? My esthetician said it's good, so. This one just kind of helps your skin stay protected from damage, especially in New York City. I know y'all love the smoke out here. So we gotta make sure we have that cute little shield, you know? Keep the skin protected. If you're a multitasker like me, what you can do is put on your sheet mask and then make your morning tea or your, your morning coffee, check your emails, and that way you can really, you know, maximize your time in the morning. Have you ever checked the mail in a sheet mask? Whew, that makes for an awkward conversation in the morning. You are scared the hell out of somebody too. So as you guys know, I'm a wig warrior. I love my wigs because I get to take them off at midnight, okay, like Cinderella. We can call her Naomi. So we throw her on, and she's not cute yet. We're, we're gonna get there, okay, there's levels. And I just like to brush her out. So we wanna clip all that front hair away and out of the face because we're going to glue this down. Put gel in front of my hairline. And it's only turning white because of the SPF, don't mind that. It'll go right away. And then start applying that lace right where we've applied the hair gel. It's just a really fun way to switch it up. Nobody wants to look the same all the time. How fun. I'm gonna mimic some baby hair, so taking a little bit more gel. It's literally in history books. Queen Elizabeth used to slay her edges. I swear to you, I learned this in school. You don't wanna overdo the baby hair. Unless you're trying to look like a 90s TLC video. That's up to you though. I mean, if that's what you want to do, I'm not judging, okay? But I'm not going for that look today. And 
and you want to tie this down so that while you're doing your makeup, this is staying in place and it's drying and it won't move. If I'm going to like a party or something, you'll see me in full glam, but when I'm at home, girl, it's literally just me, SPF, and lip balm. It just really depends on what I'm wearing, where I'm going, who I'm meeting. You know, sometimes you don't want to get too done up. You want to be taken a little serious. Sad to say, the more makeup you wear, sometimes people try. People try to play you the more makeup you wear. It's really annoying. Okay, let's start with the makeup. So we have to prime. It's just a way of life. So I'm going to take this Hangover Primer from Too Faced. It's all about layers. So you'll see me putting on primer and then foundation. It's like a whole process because I find that that is what keeps my makeup lasting longer throughout the day. So after that, I'm going to put on a little bit of translucent powder. I know this is gonna have you shook guys. So a lot of people see this and they're like, doesn't that make your makeup cakey? And I'm like, no girl, duh. So really kind of push and press it in. No, oh, if you don't know, have a seat. I'm gonna introduce you to Too Faced Born This Way. I actually got to collaborate with them this year to expand their line. So I created nine new shades this year. And the shade that I'm gonna be wearing and the shade that I created is Spiced Rum. And I'm going to just dot this in the places that I want the most coverage. Sometimes if I use a product like Retin-A um, or like a retinol that may make my skin more sensitive, because all the chemicals, girl, I don't know how to pronounce these names. Sometimes this stuff really burns but this foundation feels good for the skin. These are one of my favorite concealers from NARS, the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna take dark coffee. I'm gonna contour right below my cheekbones, right in the bridge, and then the jawline, if you're like me and you like beignets. <laughs> Gotta make sure you hide that girl. And then I take almond, babe. Did you know that's French for almond almond? Basically, touch all of the areas that the sun shines in. So the center of your forehead, the bridge of your nose, and of course, under eye. Then I take a fluffy brush, one that's really dense and fluffy, and I blend out my contour first and start chiseling away the beignets, one stroke at a time. And yeah, make sure you blend down to your jawline and your neck. We do not want no line of demarcation, girl. My routine for the most part is the same when I travel. Transition powder, next, while I keep talking. Um, I, yeah, I don't really switch anything up or do anything different. I will say <laughs> there's been times where I've like left things at home and I forgot things on the go. Let me tell you something. This is the most bougie thing you'll ever hear me say, but Postmates is a blessing from God. And there was a couple times where I've had Postmates bring me some beauty blenders or two. Don't judge me though, because it was an emergency and I couldn't make it to Sephora, so. We're gonna fake some bronze because New York City still wants to look like the apocalypse outside, but it's cool. We're gonna fake, we're gonna fake a tan. This one is from Anastasia. And we're also gonna make sure we pull back to get into the wig and bronze in there too, because that's gonna help it blend into your skin tone. I don't know, I just feel like bronzer just looks way more approachable, you know? Contour is like you can't sit with us. And bronzer's like, you can sit with us. But just sit over there and don't touch my fries. You feel me? Like it's a little bit more friendly. It's cool. Okay, after that I'm gonna do brows. So first I go in with like a really, a really tight defining pencil. And then I'll take one that's a little thicker, more feathery, and then I'll fill in everywhere else. And these are two different colors. So one is darker. I define it with a darker color first. And then I fill in with a color that's slightly lighter for a more realistic dimensional. I love this palette from Pat McGrath. It's one of her newest ones. It has a lot of really pretty rose gold jewel tones, but you can also create like some really fun, everyday wearable looks. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be going to Milan this year for Fashion Week with Pat McGrath. So, goals, hashtag goals. I love her, she's so awesome. She's just like a fun, she's almost like an auntie. Like I literally call her Auntie Pat. She's just mad cool. Her products are dope and like just as an artist, like who doesn't admire Pat McGrath? She's freaking Pat McGrath. I'm gonna take this one from Batty B. I love this lash. It's very glamorous and very extra. While my lash glue dries, I'll do like the final steps in my eyes so that by the time I'm done, I can just pop them on. Just gonna finish the last final steps by adding an inner corner highlight. That's like the Jackie Aya signature I always add 
fun inner corner highlight. Mascara. Not really a fan of eyeliner for during the day. I like to keep everything very, how can I put this? Like no harsh lines. I don't like anything too smoky, too dark. Okay, this is very serious operation work, is putting on the falsies. I love falsies, especially when I know I'm gonna be on camera. They just, look at the difference, it's night and day. Natural lash, ooh, ignore my nail. Natural lash, falsie. Natural lash, falsie. Three hours of sleep, seven hours of sleep. You see the difference? Honestly, it takes a lot of practice perfecting the lash application, but once you get it down, you can conquer the world. I always feel like a brand new woman after I put on my suit. I really do. Okay, we need to add some blush. We need to liven this look up. I'm gonna go with a bit of pink just to kind of complement the look. This is a cream blush from NARS, one of my favorites. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but once you blend it out, you get this beautiful natural pink look. Finish it off with some setting spray. Like I said, it's gonna be a long day, so I'm gonna take some Urban Decay All Nighter. I didn't feel comfortable wearing makeup like throughout high school, really, until I got to senior year. I would just practice on anyone that would let me when I got to college, and I started discovering color and pigments, and that was when YouTube was popular, and I started doing my tutorials at a time where I really kind of like needed that inspiration, and honestly, like I've just never looked back since then. That's the final look. Was she worth the wait? Did she slay or not? Nah? Well, you guys, I have shows to go to. I have meetings. I don't know what you got planned for the rest of the day, but you gotta get the hell out of here, okay? All right.